Hello friends, today we talk about the data types. So at the end of this lesson, we we'll know what is correct uh, categorical data and what is numeric data. So let's get started. First, let's look at the different types of data. There are two main types of data, categorical and numeric. Numeric data divided into two types, continuous and count. For example, a student's certification displays information about a person, including categorical data like gender, hair, color. So what is categorical data? The categorical data classify people, objects, or events. For example, we can classify people into one of two gender categories, male, or female. Other examples of categorical data include employer, occupation, and eye color. The second type of data is numeric. There are two types, continuous and count. Continuous data often provide the most detailed or precise information. These data are measured quantities for which fractional values make sense. For example, time, temperature, and speed are all the continuous data. Numeric data can be also called unlike continuous data, called data are numeric data that are only measurable in whole numbers. For example, we could count the number of people in a room, or we could count the number of just no answers in a survey. In some contexts, we will use different terminology to refer to data types. When we talk about country charts and quality tools for analyzing processes, we will, use, uh, we will refer to categorical and count data as attributes data, and we will refer to continuous data as variables data. These data, uh, these are the terms traditionally used for this analysis. Let's look more closely at the difference between categorical and numeric data. Your driver's license provides several kinds of data about you. Some of the data are categorical, some are numeric. Categorical data include a driver's a gender, hair, and eyes color. The numeric data include height, weight, birth date, expiry date, and license number. Now let's look at the differences between data types in another situation. Consider a quality engineer at a company uh, that manufactures PC mainboard. Uh, the engineer assesses customer complaints regarding the mainboard issues. So let's consider different kinds of data he uses to assess customer complaints and improve his company's products. The quality engineer classifies each complaint according to whether it is about short circuit, open circuit, overcurrent, or other. So which type of data is defect? It is categorical, continuous, or count. The engineer keeps track of number of defect received each week. So is the number of defect received this week continuous, count, or categorical? Categorical value of variable. The engineer is concerned about time response of defects. So, what kind of data could be used to decrypt the time response? Is this categorical, continuous, or cost data? So, these three examples for the data types, you can find your answer. Let's review. Uh, remember that data are 
factual observations gathered about a process or event. Numeric data come into uh, come into types called and continuous. Called data are numeric data that are only measurable in whole numbers. Continuous data are measured quantities for which fractional values make sense. And the categorical data classify people, objects, or events in two categories. In the next few lessons, we will learn how to graph and summarize data. Thank you for the listening. So in the next lesson, we'll talk about bar chart, Plato chart, and pie chart.